Well, Merry Christmas, everybody. We're about to start a new year. And, you know, when I started Innovate, I set out to build a, a, what they call a legacy company, right? Uh, that is uh, designed to withstand the test of time. Uh, it's not easy, as you can imagine. And we've done things a lot differently than what other companies call legacy. Right. We are very unique in the fact that we actually make our own products. We have our own production facility right here on premises. Um, and it takes a lot of different things, both in the back as well as in the front, uh, that you have to do a lot of things and get them all meshing and, and working. And I'm proud to say that, that we've accomplished that. Right? We've developed an internationally recognized brand, superfoods that, my goodness, help people live longer, healthier fuller lives. And thanks to Donna Marie Saratella and a dedicated army, you folks, of brand advocates that engage your communities to share innovative products with respect, transparency, and a high degree of ethical standards. We've done it. We've accomplished it. And we're going to keep getting better and better as we go along. Now, something happened uh, this year that I need to make you all aware of that didn't happen just for us. It happened across the board. You see the Federal Trade Commission uh, lost in the Supreme Court, and then they resurrected something that they put everybody on notice. And that just doesn't include myself. That's why we take the time to do doctor non-compliance calls and others to educate and train you. We try to make it fun because, let's face it, sometimes uh, compliance isn't necessarily the most exciting thing. But I think Don Marie and I and, and Katie have done a phenomenal job in trying to spice things up, right? But this thing right here from the Federal Trade Commission, they put everybody on notice, every single network marketing company in the, in the country, Amazon, Amazon Prime, you name it, everybody got a letter. And it's because they resurrected something that allows them to just arbitrarily find you if you if they think you're doing something or your, or your brand associates are doing something that they consider uh, non-compliant. Well, that's where Donna Marie comes in, right? She has uh, a huge background in compliance and years and years of experience. And that's what happens when you have a commitment to compliance. We bring somebody in like her, but she's pretty much been with us from the very beget, from the very get-go. And no one is more committed to compliance than Donna Marie. She has a 30-year expert, uh, literally, we, we call her the queen of compliance in direct selling. Uh, Donna Marie is a published author, founded a successful compliance agency, Direct Selling Solutions, and regularly provides expert advice to folks like me who need a little nudge in the right direction occasionally. And you'll hopefully be meeting her when you come to the lifestyle trip, because we're going to bring our folks in so that you can meet them. You can put a, a face with a name and a voice and, and the personality, because she's she is very warm and gracious, but She's also very strict on the compliance side. Now, as you know, I, I'm Dr. Non-Compliance. So when I met Donna Marie in 2016 and found out she affectionately referred to herself as the queen of compliance, boy, we just, we just hit it off. We wrapped up together. I knew she was the one we needed at Inovate to continue to build a robust force of brand associates. Thanks to Donna Marie, I call it a success. With further, no further ado, Donna Marie is here with us today to share insights on how you can successfully represent your Innovate business without becoming a target for the federal regulars. So they used to just target owners, but they no longer do that. That's why we do our regular doctor non-compliance calls. And we're going to be doing some new things with this new year coming uh, that will help you even get a better footing. So... Ladies and gentlemen, our head of compliance for Innovate and the queen of compliance, Donna Marie Saratella. Good evening, everyone. And thank you, Dr. Client Smith, for that wonderful introduction. I am so proud to be on this team. Thank you. Well, welcome to the Innovate compliance training. Yes, I said compliance. It's not a dirty word, just one people don't like to hear. We're going to talk about how to be successful and compliant when marketing your Innovate business in this webinar. Now, I'm Donna Marie Saratella. I am your compliance program manager. I've worked with Innovate since October 25th, 
of 2016. I just celebrated my five-year anniversary. And I can tell you, Novate is a incredible company, well-structured and very committed to the compliance. They also call me the queen of compliance. And I'll tell you a little bit about that later, but I'll show you my scepter now. Um, let's get into the compliance factor here. This webinar is assembled specifically to tell you what you can and can't say. How to be successful and compliant when marketing your Innovate business. Welcome again and thank you for your time and your commitment to compliance. Innovate welcomes you, proudly authorizes our independent associates to represent our products. That means a lot to Innovate. You have high standards to uphold. We believe that all our associates are up for the challenge. Thank you for being a part of the Innovate family of associates. We're really proud to have you. Our company compliance department is built on a foundation of our policies and procedures. Now, it's my responsibility to literally watch the associates both online and offline so that we can ensure Innovate is playing by the rules. There are many agencies watching companies like us right now. We ask you to take the subject very seriously and do your part. The FTC, the FDA, and the Attorney General offices are actively watching for two things, income claims and product claims. So please watch out for them as well. We ask you to use your name and the Innovate Independent Associate title when representing the company. Use only corporate created materials unless you have shared your sales materials with compliance prior to use or posting it online. Now, sometimes there are things we can and can't do, and these are a couple of them. Please understand that our policies are enforced to protect our customers, our associates, our staff, and Innovate. Help us protect the Innovate house. Thank you for helping us do that. Associates are prohibited from using the logo, the corporate logo, or corporate trademark materials in your marketing. Unless Innovate has given them to you, then you can use them. But the corporate logo you can never use. So please don't use that. Use the associate logo. Very important. Please feel free to access all of these training tools and reports in the back office that you have from Innovate. As I mentioned before, product claims are very problematic and it can really seriously hurt the company. They're prohibited in our policies and procedures. So product claims are considered health or drug claims and they may be the same, but you can never make a health claim and you can never make a drug claim. You can make a product claim. Whenever an associate makes a claim regarding health, they must use the disclaimer on this slide. These statements have not been approved by the Food and Drug Administration. This product is not intended to treat, cure, diagnose, or prevent disease. That is the small product claim disclaimer. We have some other disclaimers that you're going to learn about. Now, you see, if you talk about the product as if they cured, treated, healed, diagnosed, they are then drugs. Drug claims are not allowed. So let me give you an example of some drug claims. These products cured my asthma. These products cured my arthritis. The products prevented me from catching the flu. These products are example, these statements are examples of drug claims. And this disclaimer may be found in the back office for you to use either online or offline. It's very important to use it. If you have questions about what is a drug claim or when to use the disclaimer, please let us know at compliance at Innovate.com. All right, just like drug claims can and will get a company in trouble, so will income claims. You see, those are prohibited as well. Income claims require the use of a different disclaimer, and it's called the income disclaimer. Now, the income disclaimer is right here. The illustration is for educational purposes only and is not intended to serve as a guarantee of income. Success with the Novate requires hard work, dedication, and good sales skills. The average Novate associate earns between $250 and $1,500 per year. Some earn less. Well, some of our associates earn much, much more. So that is our income disclaimer. 
Now, let's talk about income disclaimers and why you need to use them. There's two forms of income claims. One is an expressed claim where we would say, I made $7,000 last month. That's expressed. Associates may not make implied claims either. For example, I made more money in a month than I made all last year. That's an implied claim. So whether it's uh, expressed or implied, you cannot make it. And now think about this. When you're describing income, think outside the box about what you value from earning additional income. What do you value from that additional income? No need to talk about how much money you made or how you bought a new house or a new car. Talk about what you value. This is really important. For example, here's a couple. Working in my own business has changed my life. Another one. Being my own boss means I answer to me. Good one. I'm so glad I took the first step. I'm pretty young and so much further ahead in my goals than most people my age. Those are all considered acceptable claims. They don't talk about money and they don't talk about fancy cars and they don't picture fancy cars or money coming down or anything representation, any representation of income or money. Now, remember, I talked about another earning disclaimer, and we're going to talk about that. It's different than the drug claim disclaimer. This disclaimer is used when making income represent representations online or offline. This is a legal requirement. We ask associates to use the income disclaimer. The second disclaimer that we talk about is the IDS or the income disclosure statement. We're going to talk about that in detail on our next slide, but the IDS or the income disclosure statement must be used when you're presenting the Innovate opportunity to prospects. Associates must share the IDS with prospects when representing income or even potential income for Innovate representatives. The next slide represents the IDS. Please find the required document in the Innovate back office. Now, let's look at the next slide so you can be familiar with the IDS. We recommend that you find the IDS in the back office, print out several copies, 10 or 12. Then when you are presenting the Innovate opportunity, you can have it handy to share. Thank you for using it and sharing it with your team. It's a very important part of keeping compliant. Additional associate responsibilities. Well, we believe our associates want to empower their organization. It's a responsibility of the associate to support and train their team. If our associates don't support their organizations, the queen of compliance will hear about it and you don't wanna make the queen of compliance angry. Thank you for being responsible and sharing these important compliance recommendations. Again, this is how we protect the house. Now, testimonials are a huge part of marketing the products. Your testimonial must be compelling to get someone interested in trying our products. Now, your testimonial must be compliant. Let's first talk about other people's testimonials. You may not repeat testimonials that you've heard from a third party. You may repeat testimonials that have been reviewed and authorized by Innovate. Pretty simple, no third party testimonials that are not approved and authorized by a Novate. All right, you may repeat testimonials that you find on a Novate's official marketing materials. That's included when you're finding a Novate social media sites. All product testimonials must be free of drug claims. No matter whether you say them or repeat them, never make testimonials with drug claims ever. Now, testimonials may be posted, but they must contain the appropriate disclaimer. We just talked about disclaimers, and it's very important that you use the language to remind, remain compliant. Associates are going to have a neat technology in order to uh, put their testimonials forward, and it's going to make it quicker, and it's going to make it more consistent. So watch out for that coming soon. All right, let's talk about some specific health claims and product claims and drug claims. These are examples of them. Associates may not use uh, insomnia, cancer, arthritis. These are considered drug claims. Remember, any representation of a disease is illegal. It must not be done. 
These slides represent three ways that you can describe your testimonials without using disease claims. Talking about what our products support, help, and promote is okay. Talking about diseases or symptoms of a disease is not okay. Here's some more examples of not acceptable terminology and acceptable terminology. If you're unsure, please don't make the claim. The company depends on our associates to do the right thing every time they present the Innovate opportunity to their friends, their families, or a group of public uh, people. Of course, with any product claim, the disclaimer must accompany it. Remember what that disclaimer is. These statements have not been approved by the Food and Drug Administration. This product is not intended to treat, cure, diagnose, or prevent disease. Now I've got a great slide for you. Check this one out. Are you a dog person or a cat person? This cat looks like he got caught with his paw in the bird cage. And the dogs look like they're partying like it's 2022. All right, as we mentioned, content you create requires a Novate compliance approval. That includes sales and promotional materials, flyers, blogs, videos, and business cards, as well any advertising campaigns that you create. Third-party websites mean any website that you've created to promote Innovate, third-party, other than the self-replicated website that's given to you uh, from Innovate. We only allow them with prior written approval. So you've got to have prior written approval for all of these things. We do have rules about social media and we expect our associates to follow them. We don't allow the sale of product on social media websites. And we also don't allow the explanation of our compensation plan on social media. Use social media and think about a new, the net impression that you leave the viewer that that ad or sales material leaves. What is the net impression? Does the viewer have a, a, an impression that they're being enticed to join or that it's too good to be true? What is the net impression? That's very important. What would the regulators or the queen of compliance say about this? All right, if you're gonna have a booth, we have marketing of, at events, that's acceptable. If you're gonna have a booth or an event or set up a big meeting, we'd like to know about it. In the back office, there's an event registration form. We ask you to please use that. When you have a booth, a table, or you plan on doing a talk that's going to be for more than 100 people, we ask our associates to support, protect, and defend the integrity of the Innovate income opportunity. So that means you're all knighted doo -doo 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 -doo, by the queen of compliance to watch out for violations to our policies and procedures. Please help us watch the associates. So if you see something a little off, or you're just not sure, send it to compliance at innovate.com. Thank you again for helping us to protect the house. All right, what's our next slide? There we go. This is an important slide. Innovate restricts our associates from going to TV, radio, newspaper to promote, to promote our business or our products. Please don't reach out to the media. The media has, uh, they don't care too much about direct selling companies. So let's be smart and not poke the bear, the sleeping bear. Watch out for misquotes or omitting significant facts about the compensation plan. Our plan is a large one and it offers lots of opportunities to earn commissions. Watch out for anyone making disparaging statements whether it's about Innovate, the associates, or the plan, anything about Innovate, watch out for that. We are proud of the company. We value the integrity in our associates. And we ask you to play by the rules. Now, these are other guidelines to consider. We're very serious about not selling on Amazon, eBay, Craigslist, or other social media. Remember, you are an independent associate. And being one means that you're not offering a job to someone. No, instead you're offering an income opportunity. No selling in countries where we're not open yet. Please don't solicit any Innovate associates 
to join you in another direct selling company. That's considered solicitation and it won't be tolerated. Thank you again for learning the rules and following them throughout your involvement as an Innovate Independent Associate. Don't you just love that little hamster? All right, well, I said it and I'm gonna show you. I'm putting the crown on. I'm holding the scepter up and I'm telling you I'm the queen of compliance. Please stay in touch with me anytime by email at compliance at innovate.com. Let's chat about your marketing ideas and work together to protect the house Thank you for your attention and your actions on behalf of Anovate and compliance. And remember, the queen of compliance is always watching. Thank you. Thank you so much, Donna Marie, for teaching us the do's and don'ts on how to successfully market your Innovate business compliantly. That was very enlightening, and I learned lots of things myself. All right. Well, now, Novate Nation, we want to encourage you to put into practice what you've just learned from Don Marie. And how may you do that, you might ask? Well, by submitting a video testimonial on our brand new testimonial video submission site, which you are looking at right here. And you can access this by going to novatetestimonials.com. So guys, this is our new testimonial submission website that our creative manager, Jesse Crawford, actually put together for you guys to be able to easily record and submit your testimony of videos. It's really easy to use. We've got some tips and tricks right here under best results on how to take your best video. You simply put in your full name here, first and last name, put in an email address where we can contact you. And then to actually record your video, all you have to do is click this record from camera button right here, and it will open up your video camera and you can directly record onto this platform. Or if you have a video that you've previously recorded that you recorded that you would like to upload, you may do that by clicking choose video file and then just selecting it from your files. And then the last thing you're going to do, guys, is check this box won't look like that. You're going to check it there to make sure you agree to our terms and conditions. And this is important because, um, let's just read this together. It says, I agree to the terms and conditions for using this service and hereby authorize Innovate the right and permission to modify copyright and or publish, reproduce or otherwise use my name, a voice and likeness in videos, photographs, written materials and audio visual recordings. So I'm sure most of you, especially based on what you've just learned from Donna Marie, are going to do an amazing job at compliantly recording your testimonials. But if you make a little mistake or there is a statement in there that we deem not compliant, we reserve the right to edit that out um, and then use the edited version of your testimonial. But we can't wait to see what you guys record and put together for us. And as a fun way to kick off the launch of this new site, we have a promotion currently going on. So if you submit a video testimonial by Friday, January 14th, you'll be entered into a drawing to win a $50 Anovate swag gift certificate. And guys, we're going to pick four testimonials at random two product testimonials and two income opportunity testimonials. So let's clarify that. You can leave a testimonial video recording all about the product, what it's done for your, you know, physicality, how it's made you feel, your experience with colostrum, limousine, seismic, whatever product it may be that you want to um, record a testimonial on, or you can leave a testimonial recording about the income opportunity. What's Innovate done for your business, for your family, for your team? How has it impacted your life? And really what we're looking here for, guys, is what Innovate is all about. As you've probably heard us say before, a novate is Latin for a new you, and we want to hear how you have become a new you with a novate. So it's a new year, new you, new testimonial site, and we can't wait to pick our four winners um, who will get that $50 novate swag gift certificate, and you'll be featured on all of our official novate social media platforms, which is really exciting. So good luck on your testimonial submissions. We can't wait to see what you guys come up with. And thank you again for tuning in with us tonight. And we'll see you next week. Bye, guys.